Jimmy Church, host of Fade to Black, with our special presentation from everybody here at Fade to Black on the Malibu Deep Underwater Base, an entrance that was discovered off the coast of Malibu at Point Doom, which appears to be the holy grail of UFO and UFO researchers that have been looking for it for the past 40 years. We made the discovery on the week of May 12th, which was a Monday. We announced it on the site, Facebook, Twitter, on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, we announced it to the world. What you are looking at here is the third image that we release. And you need to understand one thing that is very important. These are the straight files, untouched. There's nothing funny here. Nothing has been manipulated at all. These are the straight images from Google Earth. And you can clearly see in this image, it is two and a half miles wide, 1.35 to 1.45 miles deep, 6.6 miles off of the Malibu coast. That's PCH that you see off in the distance. And the ceiling is 500 feet thick. This image here is our topography study that we did. You can see the anomaly off to the left. You can see ranges that go from 450 meters or 1,476 feet from the surface, the top of the water, to the bottom of the platform. It is absolutely enormous. The bottom of the entrance is 700 meters or 2,296 feet from the surface. The distance between the pillars is 2,745 feet wide. The pillars are 600 to 630 feet tall, 100 feet at the base. This image here, you are looking directly south to the north. You can see Port Wenemme, the Marine Corps Naval Air Station, off in the distance at 12 o'clock. PCH right there, running up the coast of Malibu. This is a set of nine images Take, taken in a panoramic sense. Now you are looking a little bit to the east, a little bit off to the distance. But what you can see here is that the structure itself doesn't fit in with its natural surroundings. This discovery was made by Maxwell, Dale Romero, and myself two weeks ago. Yes, it's all over the internet now, but that's not the point. This has been the center, the hub of USO, UFO activity going back 40 years. Thousands of witnesses up and down the coast. The residences here just pull up lawn chairs and watch the lights come in and out of the water all day long. It's what they do. Now, is this proof of an entrance to something inland? We don't know. It could be natural. It could be 10,000 years old could be 100 years old. We don't know. Older than that. It's a possibility with the thickness of the dome, of the ceiling, that there is a dome there full of oxygen. We don't know. It could be an ancient natural anomaly, but why it has not been investigated or revealed until now, we don't know. We will be covering this over the next few months extensively. We're planning an expedition now to head out to the edge of the platform and getting cameras under the water. We are working on that, and hopefully we will have a video presentation shortly. Again, this is north looking south off of the coast, and look how the structure does not fit in with its natural surroundings. Here is another shot. It just doesn't match. It could go inland. It could be the entrance to the China Lake Naval Station, which is 38% of the United States Navy's total land holdings around the world, and it sits in the middle of the Mojave Desert. It can continue on on a northeast line directly from this point to Area 51, or maybe to Hawthorne Lake, where the Navy has their undersea warfare center. We don't know. This is from the seafloor looking directly in. As you can see, it's over 2,000, almost 3,000 feet in between those two pillars. Multiple ships can pass through. This is from inside the structure looking out from behind. 
one of the pillars. Potentially the biggest breaking story in ufology since Roswell, Area 51, Rendlesham. This is Jimmy Church, host of Fade to Black. Come join us 